And before the fireside chat, the CNA team spoke to Mr. Anwar, where he addressed a wide range of issues, ranging from the country's political landscape to the role that Malaysia plays in the region. And uh, for more, CNA's Afifa Arifin joins us live from the Four Seasons Hotel in Singapore. Uh, Afifa, I believe there are surveys out there showing that there's basically a lack of trust among Malaysians in the country's institutions, given the political volatility. How exactly is Mr. Anwar planning to overcome this obstacle? Well, that has been a key concern that political observers have, that the general Malaysian public, they're growing very, you know, there's such growing mistrust of the government, especially because of the political instability over the last five years. We saw numerous changes in leadership, you know, beginning from that Sheraton move in 2020, followed by numerous state elections in 2021 and 2022, leading up to the general elections in November and the recent uh, state elections in August. So there was a lot of political fatigue voter apathy and growing mistrust, especially with recent developments uh, which saw several high-profile politicians uh, being acquitted of the corruption charges, including the Deputy Prime Minister Ahmad Zahid Hamidi himself. Now, speaking to us in an interview this morning, Prime Minister Anwar made it very clear that this time there is political stability. He has, his unity government has 147 seats of the 222 seats in Parliament, just one seat short of that two-thirds majority and, you know, on the topic of regaining the trust from the Malaysian public, he said this is not an issue that can be resolved overnight. So let's listen in to what else he said. It will take time because the, the cynicism uh, is due to the um, failure of political leaders in the past uh, to prove that um, leadership must be accountable. And, and corruption cannot be deemed to be a system, uh, a culture, and systemic, which is the case in Malaysia. So it will take time. I understand that. That's why I'm not too um, excited or too, too uh, um, worried when, it, when I do receive lots of criticism. I say, okay, be patient. We'll have to explain. Well, it says that he's not too worried there about all the criticisms. But in the meantime, big powers like the US and China, they are trying to expand their influence in the region. What did Mr. Anwar say about the role that Malaysia can play despite all these tensions? Well, the Prime Minister acknowledged that Malaysia is a small country and so it is important to be on good terms with both of these superpowers, China uh, and the US. And so there is a need for constant engagements. But of course, these engagements, these discussions must uh, bring about benefits uh, for Malaysia and must bear fruit. And so he said that Malaysia will not be guided by any decisions uh, taken by any of these superpowers. Let's listen to what else he had to say about this. Well, we are fiercely independent. Um, we um, are close to China, and it's an important trading uh, nation. It uh, and and the investments have been increasing exponentially. Um, but we have been traditionally a great friend of the United States. I had uh, great uh, discussions with Kamala Harris. Uh, was seated beside me during dinner in Jakarta and, and um, I'm pleased to hear from her that how uh, President Biden and the leadership seems to be you know wanting to engage further uh, with me and uh, view Malaysia as a great uh, friend and but beyond that I don't think we should be super ambitious um, we are relatively a smaller country, smaller player, and we are part of ASEAN. They have taken that um, centrality uh, as its core principle to work with all parties, uh, including China in the United States. And so Mr. Anwar said that, of course, discussions must continue bilaterally as well as regionally through ASEAN, which, as a bloc, has a key role to play in reducing tensions between China and the United States. Hey, many thanks for that report. Afifa Arifin speaking to us live from the Four Seasons Hotel in Singapore.